and that is how you guys do it. What is up, everybody? It's Country Boy John, beasting in Detroit with my brand new gun that I love so much, the Elite version of the KF5. I've heard some people call it the KFC. <laughs> it's the KF5 Breakneck Elite version of the weapon, and it is so awesome. I love this game. Every game I played with it since I unlocked it, I won every game. And I think there was only like one or two of those games that I went either dead even or I went negative. There's only a few of those games. Most of the games I was uh, high up in the score and not that many deaths. It's pretty awesome. I got a load of gameplays for you guys, so <laughs> uh, there'll be more videos coming after this for sure. But uh, man, yeah, you might say, oh, well, you're a bitch. You put on the target finder. No, I'm not a bitch. It's, it's a good sight thing to show if anybody is, like, in a dark corner that you can't see. Sometimes I'll just scope on some areas with that just to see if anybody's hiding because it'll light them right up. It's not like the Black Ops 2 one. That one was super overpowered. This one is a, it's useful. It's very helpful. But it's not going to be super overpowered as Black Ops 2's. Anyway, guys, hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I haven't been able to have a commentary up. Hope you enjoyed my Thanksgiving montage. It wasn't really planned as a Thanksgiving montage, but I figured, hey, why not? Since I, <laughs> I wasn't able to make a video myself, I figured, you know, I already have this one on the schedule to upload to you guys. Just retitle it and make it the Thanksgiving montage. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And hopefully you guys enjoyed all my Far Cry videos, Far Cry 4. And there'll be a couple more of those coming. I have a couple already ready to go. So, yeah, it's going to be a good mix. You know, it's not going to just be Call of Duty. Even though that's my majority uploads. Because that's what I'm having fun with right now. I know a lot of people still cannot believe that anybody can have fun with this game. As I fell with that fucking missile. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that missile sometimes. It just goes cattywonkers and just goes the way it wants to go. It doesn't want you to go anywhere. Look at this shit, though. I'll leap over, get this fuck. Usually I wouldn't do this. But since I already knew where they were coming, I'm like, yep. And bam. Look at that shit. I didn't even reload before I got him. That's unusual for me. Usually I reload after every fucking kill because that's a problem that I've had ever since COD 2. Since those clip sizes in that game were very small, you had to reload after almost every kill. So that's why I do that. It's stuck in my head like, I don't know, it's something I've never been able to get over. But yeah, uh, man, ever when I unlocked this thing, I stayed and played this game the whole day. And this was my first all-day session of this game. I haven't done one of those in a long time, guys. I haven't played Call of Duty in one day, like almost the whole fucking day, since probably Black Ops 1. That's probably the last Call of Duty that I did that. And, you know, I unlocked this gun. It was so much fun going around tearing guys a new asshole almost every game and just dominating that I couldn't stop playing. So it was so much fun, and I love this gun. Oh, my God. Add uh, advanced rifling on it makes it even better because the range is already good on this weapon. You add that to it. <laughs> it's nasty. And uh, then, of course, the target finder and the grip. Whew, dominant, dominant setup. And I uh, get my streaks a few times. I go I cycle through them. People think it's not possible to do. It's very impossible. If you guys haven't noticed uh, the way I'm playing this, I actually played this game pretty damn smart. Most of the games I was playing pretty smart. And it was, I was just going around the edges of the map. I, I, oh, I was going to punch him there, and I, I shot him, with that it surprised me. <laughs> like, I was trying to stop myself from shooting, but it, it happened. But anyway, as you can see, I'm running the same route over and over again. Usually, that's not good, but this game, it worked out for me perfectly. I was just going around the edges of the map and just killing them, you know, knocking them off. Only died seven times this match, and I got 27 kills. So that's pretty epic. 27 and 7 gameplay is gold for this game. 
And I hope you guys are enjoying this, because I've got more of these coming. As this wasn't the only one I got the other day. I got uh, one 35 kills. I don't remember how many times I died. Probably more. But 30, 35 kills, almost a 40 plus gameplay. That's pretty fucking good. Punch that fucker. I wanted to punch that fucker, but somebody took him out before I could get to him. Yeah, damn you. <laughs> anyway, guys, this video is about to wrap. I think we got like maybe a minute left. And I finally get a kill with this missile strike. I do love the missile strike. It is fun. It's like the Predator missile to me, which I loved that back in the day. And, uh, you know, these kill streaks, there's only a few of them that I like. The rest are all sucky. The, you know, the UAV is useful because you can turn it into the Blackbird and also make it even stronger than the Blackbird because it paints them and you see them through walls and shit. That's the way I have it set up because I like that. And a lot of people probably don't use it because they think it's too hard to get to, but I don't know. I don't have a problem getting my streaks. I usually get them all the time. Well, not all the time, but when I'm in the zone, like yesterday, I get them. Anyway, guys, there's a 27-7 and 7 for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm out here. Peace.